Sorry about the echo today, guys. I am in my garage working on my battery backup system. I'm going to be starting from the right today. That is a charger that will charge C's, D's, double A's, triple A's, and even 9 volt batteries. I got it at Radio Shack. It's called, it's called an Enercell. This one is the same brand, but this one does double A's, four double A's or four triple A's or any combination of both. And this will do four double A's or four triple A's in 15 minutes. We'll charge them. CCI uh, a power bank, whatever you call those, I don't remember. This is my 30 amp uh, solar charge controller because I have some solar panels as well. <clears throat> um, this keeps the batteries from overcharging due to the solar panels. Um, this is a cheapo uh, charge controller that I got with a, one of my systems I had, one of my first systems. I use that just to plug in some little lights. Obviously my two deep cycle batteries. This is my inverter. It works pretty well. It's um, 1500 watts, 3000 surge. Um, my peak performance battery charger. It does 4 amps, 12 amps, 25 amps. And it's a smart charger. Um, meaning it, it'll um, it'll check the battery to see how low it is. And if it's relatively low, it'll start in the 25 amps. If it's 80% or better, it'll go to the 12 amps. And then to t keep topping it off, it'll do the 4 amps. Um, it has a charge status light, battery reconditioning light, a reverse polarity. So if you put the negative on the positive and the positive on the negative, it'll tell you it'll, it won't charge it and it'll have a little light there. Has current, voltage, battery capacity indicator. That's green, red, green, yellow, and red depending on how, how your battery is. 4 amps, 12 amps, 25 amps, so you know what it's charging at. Um, over here I have a small 140 watt power inverter. <coughs> um, I use that for small LED lights or to charge anything USB wise, anything with small, small drain. <coughs> I also have this here. It has two USB ports. I think this top one does two amps and the bottom one does 0.5 uh, if I remember right but this uh, moves I chose this one because it has a little light that way I know that there's battery power to it then my little voltmeter it's running off that battery right there and then just power cords I chose these I heard on a podcast uh, uh, with Jack Sparco that uh, if you buy these they're pretty much indestructible you can run over them with a car and you've seen these everywhere they're you know for almost two bucks at the local hardware store don't do not buy them online I found them for sixteen dollars a piece online but you can plug these together and make as large of a power strip as you want just keep adding them together and that's it so far um, once I get all this together, I might do another video. So, enjoy. Well, this is as far as I've gotten on the first day. <clears throat> Have the batteries hooked up to the charge controller and to the inverter. I've got to deal with the cords there <clears throat> um, before I start hooking other things up. But this is as far as I made it on the first day. Day two, not much more accomplished, but I shortened the wires to make everything a little more energy efficient. 
you really have to worry about that on uh, direct current, DC current. Not as much on AC, uh, but on DC you have to worry about the length of the wires. So there we go. Day three. I have finalized the whole setup here of the backup power system. I have my two 12 volt batteries, um, both uh, uh, deep cycle. I have all my rechargeable batteries down here. I have my inverter, 1500 watt, uh, 3000 peak. My solar charge controllers, because I have also have solar panels. Uh, my peak performance battery charger, power block, my small 140 watt inverter. This is my the coupler I use to um, expand how many ports I have running off a cigarette lighter. Have an extra one here for the inverter. Have a spare one, probably for all my Apple products have my 15 minute AA AAA battery charger and my AAA AA C D and 9 volt battery charger up here those are all hooked to this block so in order to use those I go down here switch on the inverter switch on the power block and then these are charging so that's what I've done. Um, I might make it a little more elaborate. I, I'm not sure yet, but this is what I have so far.